Hi, John DeWire here, and uh, this is a uh, this is a case study with a difference because it actually involves something that I owned. Uh, it's the sale of my previous home. Uh, I live on the Gold Coast in Australia now, but uh, previously uh, we lived in a 12-acre a uh, beautiful rural property in the Hunter Valley um, in New South Wales, which uh, is around about, oh, I don't know, seven hours drive, I guess, to the Gold Coast. So we've moved up north to the Gold Coast, and uh, when we were selling our home, um, I did what most people do. I put it in the hands of a real estate agent. And uh, we wanted, uh, at the time, over a million dollars for the home because uh, it was just a gorgeous property. I mean, it had a double-storey western red cedar home with the bullnose, bullnose veranda. It had a beautiful little Appalachian log cabin as a cottage, a two-storey log cabin uh, that we had guests stay in whenever they visited us. We had a lot of friends from Sydney that would come up and spend the weekend with us. It had the tennis court, it had the the, the dam with the fish in it, it had a beautiful river with fish and the kids would go canoeing in the river. It had a little island in the middle of the river where you could go down and walk over a bridge and have a picnic there. It was just wonderful. It was one of those sort of uh, properties that you would see on the a painting on the wall of someone who lived in the city that wanted to move to the country okay now the mistake I made was that I gave it to a local real estate agent uh, in this little town called Gloucester which had a population of four and a half five thousand people and of course he did what he did with most um, homes and cottages in Gloucester he just put it in his window and put it in a couple of the local newspapers and that was it and a month went by we didn't have a bite Okay, and I thought, look, I'm an idiot. I'm just a fool. I mean, I'm supposed to be this marketing expert. Why would I give this to a real estate agent who obviously doesn't have a lot of flair for marketing? Uh, and I say that, uh, you know, I, I think with a, a good amount of evidence because, um, you know, the property itself really needed to have photographs taken from the air. Now, back in those days, there was no such thing as drones, but the, it really needed a helicopter shot because we had a little four or five hole golf course on the property as well. So, I mean, not as in a proper golf course, but we created proper little greens and, you know, the kids would go out with their friends and have a game of golf in this, I think it was a five-hole golf course. So I had all the bells and whistles and I woke up to myself and thought, hang on, we're not going to get this sort of price tag from anyone in the local vicinity because most of them would be, you know, in, whoever's interested in acreage in the local vicinity would be a farmer. And this was far from being a farm, okay? If the farm next door to us, which was four or five hundred acres, if any of their cattle ever broke through the fence, um, the farm farmer would ride his horse over and apologise because he knew that they might have pooed on my golf grounds. <laughs> so we were anything but farmers. We had moved from Sydney uh, previously and spent a dozen or so years in this property. Wonderful, wonderful property. Um, but we decided it was time to move. A few of the kids were getting older and, you know, they just wanted to be near the big smoke and picture theatres and, 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 and restaurants and all sorts of things like that. So that's why we moved. So you know what I did? I thought, no, look, I'll take this off the real estate agent and just market it myself. And that's what I did. And you'll see when you read the story below. Essentially what I did was that I put out a press release to all of the newspapers in Sydney. Now Sydney's about two and a bit hours drive away. And we realised that if we were going to get that sort of money for the property, more than likely we're going to get it from someone like us. Someone who was in Sydney but wanted to have a tree chain and move to the country and they're not going to find any more idyllic property than this I can assure you you know so that's what we did um, I took out distressed space advertisements uh, in the big papers in Sydney there was a paper called the Sun Herald which reached about 500,000 people every Sunday and I was on the distressed space list I know how to buy these things and so therefore a $23,000 ad came up that I could buy for a couple of thousand dollars and that's what I did and uh, then uh, we sent out a press release and that same paper put a three-quarter of a page press release in the newspaper uh, given that we had six kids they went down the path of saying now it's time to say goodbye to all the family so they took off the whole you know Mickey Mouse Club thing and that hit the paper on the same day as the full page ad you can see both of them as you scroll down and go through the case study guess what guess what Ray Martin, who happened to be the host of a current affair TV program, um, happened to be reading the paper that morning. And I got a phone call around about 9.30 on the Sunday that this ad hit the paper and the story hit the paper. And the guy said to me, look, I'm a journalist from a current affair Channel 9's TV program. Could we bring a helicopter up to your property um, two days time and do a story on do-it-yourself real estate? Because it's obvious that you've decided to sell it yourself and not use a real estate agent. And Ray Martin, when he was reading the paper this morning, thought that would be a really interesting story story to show the nation <laughs> what do you think my answer was um y yes please come on tuesday i'm more than happy to be on tv for four or five minutes and that's what happened and you can actually watch um a, a cut down version of that 
that that interview and that exposure on TV. What did that do? What did that do? I mean, first of all, my wife made sure that we gave the best smorgasbord lunch that you could ever possibly give to the camera crew from you know, Channel 9. Uh, so when the helicopter landed from Sydney and, of course, the guys got out with the cameras and there was the interviewer and all that sort of stuff, um, we made sure that they were well fed because we wanted to make sure that we had as, longer, as, as long an interview as we possibly could and we wanted to make sure the producer was really happy. And uh, so a few days later, uh, it hit the TV screen and you can see a snapshot of that on the video and the case study. And and as it turned out, uh, we put a little website together. Um, Ray Martin told everyone to go to the website if they were interested in this do-it-yourself sort of um, property guru. Uh, property guru is a uh, property, I should say. And uh, we had 514 visits to the website within 20 minutes after the show finished. <laughs> right, 514. And keep in mind, with a real estate agent, it had been with him for a month, not one single inquiry. And as it turned out, we ended up selling it for um, uh, well above the million dollars that we thought we were you know very happy to get in the first place we sold it for much more than that because there was a bidding war uh, we had people just come out of the woodwork and say look I'll give you this and someone else said well, I'll give you more and I'll give you more so uh, within the space of a week everything had turned around um, was there an element of luck in it yeah of course there was you know Ray Martin happened to be reading the paper that morning but was there also an element of good marketing well yeah if I do say so myself there was because we actually went to the trouble to produce um, a full page advertisement which you can see when you go through the, you know, the, 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 the scrolling down the web page here and uh, we went to the trouble to put the press release together and I guess you make your own luck did we know that the host of a major national TV program with you know two million viewers was going to read the paper that day no but the fact of the matter is, by the way, we had a lot of inquiries just from that advertisement and just from that article, regardless of the TV. The TV was just the unbelievable um, sort of wow factor that really took it to a huge audience. Um, so I'm sure we would have sold the property to someone who actually saw it in that big paper anyway. Um, and I just thought I'd showcase this because it's quite an extraordinary case study. There's no question about that. And I know that I'm giving myself a bit of a rap there, but it is one of those very, very um, unusual stories. You don't see people selling their own homes too often. They normally go through a real estate agent and I think it shows you once again um, the power of my wow factor mentality uh, I actually hired a helicopter and a photographer and went up to take all of those photos that you'll see in the newspaper advertisement below um, and you'll see we produced an eight-page booklet as well so as soon as anybody came to the website and made an inquiry we overnight expressed posted uh, an eight-page booklet which was an A4 size booklet you can have a look through all the pages there below we have everything clickable for you so you can actually click them and have a look at those images um, and I think really you make your own luck by by actually creating a prestigious look and feel for the property which the real estate agent didn't do and by actually producing aerial shots of the property which is goodness me the, the, the best way you can sell a 12 acre property particularly if it's got a golf course and so what have you um, was really what sold the property it wouldn't matter whether Ray Martin and current affairs saw it or whether it was any one of the other 500 and something people it was sold with wow factor mentality and my view is that you know in the real estate game most of the real estate agents who i've ever come across have never ever shown um you know i guess flair in terms of how they would sell the property um and you'll see in this instance i was on tv being interviewed and i'm telling everyone look that was a wonderful tennis court the kids go out and play tennis on it and um you know basically it's a wonderful little cottage garden that we have for the smaller kids and it's a terrific swimming pool and it's a lovely to be able to fish in the creek i did all that sort of stuff some of which they used on tv some of which they didn't but we created a story and not enough people when they're selling their properties i believe create a story and we made sure that it was something that would be ideal for um, people who had children because obviously you know we had enjoyed it with our children as well anyway just uh, thought you'd get uh, a bit of a kick out of the background of that it was a really um, I think you know outstanding in the sense that you don't see it very often it was an outstanding uh, example of, uh, of wow factor in real estate marketing hope you enjoyed